what are the important considerations for a ma managing employee dilemma? What are the important considerations for managing employee responses to a balanced scorecard implementation? I'm going to go through uh, at least six of these, and if you have a pen and paper ready, it would be great to take some notes. The key thing to understand is that when you implement a balanced scorecard, you're going to get buy-in or resistance, and the levels of these will, will depend on how you as a manager actually implement these perspectives and these measures. So when we're thinking about adopting a balanced scorecard, you need to think of a coordinated framework. You need to think about the language that you use, and you need to think about the strategic direction of the organization. And these are the critical things that you as a manager need to very much be embedded within and understand fully. In other words, what is our common uh, approach to measurement? What is our language? And what is the big picture? The second thing is to think about the benefits of the balanced scorecard. In other words, it, it helps us get objective data, right? That helps us make better decisions, it helps us integrate our business better, and it can be used as a common basis for supporting a business case for more resources. So you can actually use the data to justify an increased budget for your department, for example. A third piece um, to consider when implementing a balanced scorecard is commitment, especially at the top. So you as a manager would need to ensure that there is commitment to not only the measurement but the management of the balanced scorecard. And you need to think about the relationship between superiors and subordinates and their level of buy-in. Management must use the balanced scorecard in an integrated and consistent way in order for it to be effective. And there must be regular communication about the results of the balanced scorecard. Next, it's important to think about what is essentially the crux of this particular course, which is how do you ensure and how do you measure employee performance? Well, you can't measure what you haven't taught. And so what the Balanced Scorecard does is it helps us focus our employee training around specific measures that are affecting their performance and their ability to reach strategic goals. And that is a key component of imparting a training process. Once you've created an effective training process, you can then align the rewards and recognition systems to incentivize reaching those objectives. And finally, what it will help you do is implementing a balanced scorecard is essentially a matter of figuring out how to break down the organizational barriers that might result uh, from or what the balanced scorecard is trying to break down. Okay, So you as a manager are continually thinking about how change um, is critical to the organization and how that change can sometimes create bottlenecks, inefficiencies, for example. And one of the ways you can do this is through success stories. So sitting down with your organization and saying, this is a great um, example of someone who's doing a great job at breaking down organizational boundaries, hitting their goals, um, hitting their performance measures and the like. All right. Now the key thing here is to think about the pace at which you implement the balanced scorecard. All right. If you take an aggressive approach, you'll overwhelm employees. But if you take something that's too slow, people will feel that there isn't sufficient, um, if, if you will, urgency. And so what you have to think about is a balanced approach to both measurement and management to integrate people into the system. Now, the key thing that I'm going to keep pushing on throughout this course is that you as a manager need to figure out the balance between measuring the performance and measuring and managing for performance. Okay, so let me put that in another way. If you measure, that is one part of your job, but your other part is actually to manage, to increase uh, what you can measure, if that makes sense. So incorporating performance evaluation into the existing management structure is important rather than treating it as a separate entity and will greatly improve the long-term viability of the scorecard. So if you find yourself only measuring, only holding people to account, 
then you're not necessarily helping them think strategically about what they can do to increase their performance and ultimately the, the success of the organization itself.